Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a fun one. In the bike stand is Mrs. Mel Mechanics bike, and it's having a little bit of a shifter issue. Uh, it uh, basically will shift all the gears at once, so it's kind of ghost shifting on her, and uh, we need to fix that today. So this bike is a specialized Como Turbo, and it has a Shimano five-speed internal hub. Apparently it's designed for e-bikes. Uh, and on the shifter, it has a micro shift trigger shifter right here. And this, this is the problem. So you can down shift easily like that. But when you upshift, it just goes through all the gears. So that's what we need to fix today. And apparently this is a proprietary shifter that MicroShift made for specialized. So instead of going to MicroShift and Specialize, I just went and got the uh, OEM shifter that Shimano makes, and it's over here. So here are the parts we're using. The replacement shifter is this Nexus, the SLC7000. Uh, it is a twist shifter specific for that uh, five-speed hub. We do need to replace the grips on it because there is no provision on the factory grip to cut it for the twist shifter. So we are putting new, new grips on there. And these are, uh, what are that, Marquee? You know, I got those on Amazon, I'll put a link. And then hopefully the only tools we need are a set of metric Allens. So let's get uh, taking this thing apart. All right, to take these grips off, I'm using a two and a half millimeter Allen. These are all kind of snug. Loosen these up and they should just pull right off just like that. And we'll do the other side while we got the tool out. Now to get this cable out of here, I have it in the highest gear. So this is shifters all the way down this way. And so what I'm gonna do is pick up on this and this slacks the cable right here. And then you can just pop the housing out like that. So that's what you got to do because then you need to slack the cable up here and it should rotate out just like that. So it turns out you need some other tools for this. I have my uh, wire cutters here. I have a 10 millimeter and an eight millimeter wrench. And so what you want to do is the outer nut right here is a 10. And then it has these two flats right there, which is an eight millimeter. And you just loosen it up like that. And you can see that loosens it up on the cable. And you just snip the end off and slide that off. And we need to hold on to this. We need to not lose that. Put that in a safe place. So this should just unscrew. Just like so, and out it comes. All right, so actually before we put the cable in, I'm gonna put a couple drops of this P9 stuff down the, uh, the housing here, just as a preventative measure, because now is a good time to do it. There we go. Now as I put the cable in, that'll push the, uh, the lube down there. So, now what we'll do is I'll just place the shifter loosely right there. And then luckily the shifter comes preloaded with this cable and it's a nice long cable. And so we just load it on in there. Now what you'll notice is it will come to a stop. Right there. And I'll show you what that is. Here's a, here's a tip. So that cable's hitting this cap. So before you get too frustrated, take just pull this cap off, and the uh, the cable should slide right out. Now once the cable's through, you can just put it through this cap. It's easier said than done. There it goes. And then the cap goes on the housing. And make sure it's seated all the way because when you go to adjust it, uh, the shifter, you know, you don't want that sliding. So make, just make sure that's 
where it needs to be. And then you just pull it through. Now we're a little short on our housing here. So what we're going to have to do is move our brake lever over. And I'm just using a four millimeter Allen. And I'm going to just, I'm just going to scoot it out of the way for now, all the way over there. And I'm going to adjust it once we get our grips on there. And boom, we're installed. So here are the new grips right here, and here are the old grips. And the reason we're replacing these, even though they look very, very similar, is I will show you. Tear these things over. Is this line right here. This line gives you a, a line to cut and remove this chunk for the shifter. So when this chunk's removed, it gets replaced by the, uh, the shifter right here. We need to cut that off right now. Now to cut these, I'm using my industrial scissors here. You can probably a regular pair of scissors or a straight blade, a knife. But I've done this before with scissors and it comes out pretty good. What I'm doing is kind of turning as I cut. Just like that and you're done. Now, when you grab your grip, make sure you're cutting the right side. So ask me how I know that. So that's the wrong side. So we'll do this again. There we go. Now, that's the correct side. Now, a trick to putting grips on is I use some isopropyl alcohol. And I stick my finger in here just to keep it all from dribbling out. You want to make sure you get the inside wet, and it should slide right on. And you get it right to the end, right there. That's probably right where she needs it, right there. And then the alcohol will evaporate, and the grip sticks. Don't forget to put your plug in there. Boom, and that's installed. Okay, so I got this little uh, boot back on there, and we will slip this into the holder that's right there. Make sure that's seated, and it is. And so the cable needs to come over the top. Right there, underneath this thing. And then we need to put this right where that is. So... This can be kind of fiddly. You have to kind of get it lined up, then take it out. I'm going to just kind of finger tighten it there. I'm just eyeballing the position. Hopefully there's enough adjustment in that uh, shifter that we can get it good. So let's go ahead and tighten it up right there. Now to get it back in, once we have this tight, is you take the cable out of the hold, holder right there, so you got slack, because this needs to like rotate in there. Just like so, boom. Now it's in there. Now pull the shifter up and we'll pop this back in. There we go. There we go. It's installed. Now, to adjust this hub, we need to get these yellow lines to line up with each other just like that on third gear. So right now I'm in fifth. There's fourth. Didn't even move. There's third. So I have all this way to go. There's second. I'm almost to first. So my cable is way too loose right here. See that? So we got to tighten everything up. Now this is where it becomes kind of fiddly because I have to move this clamp up and you got to take the whole cable off its mount and then pull it out and then just kind of guess on it. I'm sure there's a better way and somebody in the comments will say you're doing it wrong, but this is the way I know how. So we'll move it up, not that far, about that far. 
and hopefully we're within the range of the adjuster on the shifter. So let's go ahead and tighten this up and put everything back together. All right, cable's back in it. That's gear five, four, three. Ooh, we're really close. And I'll adjust the barrel on the shifter and just line those up. Right, right there. Four, five, four, three, too much. Boom, it's perfect. Three. Yep. There we go. So the shifter comes with this little goodie bag of parts, and it looks like it comes with another uh, cinch bolt right there, which is good. But what we need is the cable end thing right there. So let's grab that and put that on. Now we'll just cut off our extra wire here. Right about there, we will slip this on and give it some pinches so it doesn't come off. Just like so. Now what we don't want this is, is going into the chain right there, so we'll just kind of bend it. It hooks out to the side. There we go. All right, we got everything uh, installed that we need. To double check, make sure everything's tight, the clamp on this and the brakes. And uh, once that's done, we can take it for a spin. All right, let's try this thing out. We are in gear number one. Ooh, there's gear number two. That was a good shift. Three, nice and smooth. Four, five. Back to one. Oh, this thing does good now. I like this twist shifter. Yeah, it works way better than that trigger shift. Second, third, fourth, fifth. Oh yeah. Well, there she goes. Oh, she must like it. So, that's good news. Well, anyway, I hope this video was helpful and entertaining. And like always, I thank you very much. And I will catch you next time. Goodbye.